This is United 1944, a new team-based World War II shooter centered around squad play that just completed its first closed beta. When I first stumbled upon this game, I felt it had huge promise. You have to understand that this is no ordinary shooter. In this game, part of the unique hook is that players must craft their own weapons on the fly and also invest in skill points throughout the game, which unlock more weapons and gadgets the player can build. In addition, words from the devs themselves were very promising, boasting the development of a game centered around team play over simply rewarding players for being better at shooting than the others, where ultimately at the end of the round, it's the team with the best coordination that comes out on top. But is this really something to keep an eye on or another flash in the pan? In the beta, there was one game mode and one map, Domination Egypt. Every player begins life as a civilian and has to scavenge for loot across the map to build their weapons. You also start at level one with a very limited skill tree. Once players have built up some basic loot and leveled up a bit, the game naturally moves into the conquest phase. Here, you retrieve documents found around the map and return them to HQ, which in return rewards you with the outpost kit, which you then use to build outposts. Outposts act as spawn points, but also work as a secured objective on the battlefield. There are no classes in the game, so as you progress, you're also specking into a skill tree, which affects how you play the game through what gadgets and weapons are available to you. After all outposts have been claimed, you move to the consolidation phase, where a front line has been drawn and teams begin to fight for the win, with players looking to destroy enemy outposts while fortifying their own. The game ends with the final push when the enemy team have lost all their outposts and have been removed from the map. As the game progresses, more and more loot is gathered and crafted and players gain access to more and more stuff. So in the early game, you might just have a bolt action rifle, but in the late game, you've got a bazooka and airstrikes. On paper, this sounds really exciting, but unfortunately at this stage, it just isn't. Before I go any further, I do want to highlight that this is just a beta and I'd like to think that further development will likely improve aspects of what I'm about to cover. I'd also like to say that initially I was going to opt not to make this video as I didn't want to spread bad press about a game that's only in beta. But on balance, I'd like to think the feedback and exposure, good or bad, may prove a positive force for the game going forward. With that in mind, let's jump in. We did it. The loot and crafting mechanic is a cool idea but currently feels absolutely like a gimmick and a completely unnecessary chore for players in the game. A weapon will need two components to build. These components are usually very easy to come by and will likely be on the floor in most rooms you walk into. This means that although you don't spawn with your weapon, you'll have it crafted within 20 seconds of spawning, which means that realistically with each spawn, you're simply being forced to pointlessly run around the map, looking at the floor for two pieces of metal so you can actually play the game. Now players can build storage crates near spawn points and fill them with loot. The idea being that some players will be focusing on attacking while other players focus on building defenses and supplies. This would mean that on spawn, players can simply open a crate and instantly craft their weapon. A good idea in theory. However, in practice, it's pretty clear that much like any shooter, all players want to run around shooting people and no one wants to build crates or gather supplies. And frankly, with loot in abundance, why would you? The skill tree further compounds this problem. The skill tree gives you access to gadgets and weapons. I like the concept that as the game goes further, you get access to better weapons, which theoretically would transform the gameplay loop as you go. However, it's very clear that some weapons are infinitely stronger than others, which means that like any game with diverging skill trees and potentially multiple ways to spec a character, there is one optimal best way to skill your character and doing literally anything else is pointless. Wow, this thing is completely broken. The fact that weapons are locked into the skill tree means that you have to skill into a certain tree with the best gun, because if you don't, you might as well not play the game. At the start of the game, you choose a place to start on the tree. This is essentially like choosing your starting weapon, rifle, pistol, or shotgun. The shotgun is absolutely unusable. If you pick this, you might as well leave the server and find a new one and not make that mistake again. The pistol, is okay, and the rifle is absolutely the best option. From here, you will definitely want to spec down the tree with the submachine gun because it's easily the best weapon class and no other options even come close. With some tweaks, I think this can be fixed. Give everyone the ability to craft all weapons and only have the skill tree for gadgets and perks. 
then make the loot required to craft more powerful weapons much rarer, or require higher quantities of the regular loot to build them. From there, you will naturally have more players inclined to focus on gathering loot over fighting, as the value of loot greatly increases and feels far less gimmicky. And a team that fails to consistently gather loot will be at a huge weapon disadvantage. Moving swiftly on, the shooting mechanics. I couldn't tell whether I liked them or not. Even looking back at the footage, I still can't figure it out. The weapon sounds feel meaty, which is nice, but the recoil seems hit and miss. Like some guns have recoil and others don't. It's also quite hard to tell if the guy you shot is downed or not, which could maybe use some work. It's weird the rifles feel cool to use, but sometimes the weapons like the pistol feel like a JPEG has been pasted onto the center of my screen, and it's hard to tell if I'm even firing when using it. Do you like lots of walking? I hope so, because this game has a stamina bar and it's ruthless. You can sprint until you run out of stamina. After that, you're walking. There's no half sprint, no leniency at all. This should theoretically make you care a bit more about your movement and positioning. And I'm a big believer in the stamina bar tech, it being a key feature in Project Reality. But again, in practice, it makes the game feel like a chore. The first part of the game involves going around looking for these safes, taking the stuff from them and bringing the stuff back to main base. Running halfway across the map uncontested, grabbing documents, then running back halfway across the map uncontested, having to walk most of it because the stamina bar is so ruthless, feels very long and unnecessarily arduous. A lot of players were literally sitting out this part of the game, full on standing in base while people collected documents so they could move to the next stage, level up, get an actual weapon on the skill tree, and start playing. But it's not all doom and gloom. I only saw one map, but I was impressed by the quality and detail of it. There's an impressive degree of verticality and clear style that has been executed very well. The style extends to the cosmetics. I'm sure many players don't particularly care about cosmetics, but there's a huge divide in gaming between good looking cosmetics and tacked on garbage. The weapon skins in particular have some real heart and soul to them, and I was genuinely impressed by how you could make your character look. Oh, we are obviously this guy. What the hell? Why would you be anything else? Do people care about this in 2023? I have no idea, but it was still pretty cool. The game also has day-night cycles each round, which adds another dynamic to gameplay. In general, I'm not ready to write this one off quite yet. The words from the devs about genuinely wanting to make a game focused on team play gives me hope. Equally, I can certainly see that some of the flaws with the game in the beta may be coming from the fact that the player base don't really know how to play the game yet. So we're just running around solo, shooting each other. And in a more developed state, you may see an improvement in tactics. That being said, it doesn't look like there's a server browser, meaning playing with regular players may prove difficult. This also means that if the game is not populated consistently, the chances of finding an actual game may be slim. But I wait with bated breath. Good people of the comments, how do you feel about this game based on what you've seen? See anything of interest or does it fill you with hate and disgust? Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And other than that, all the best and I hope to see you in the next one.